How does the new T1000E from Seed Studio stack up against the Helltech V3? Let's find out. Seed Studio recently reached out to me to review their new T1000E card tracker. I decided to put it to the test and bring it along with me to a ham fest. After using it throughout the weekend, I found myself quite impressed with it. However, it got me thinking, what would be a better device? The T1000E or the Helltech V3 for everyday carry? I chose five categories for the comparison. Range, ease of use, features, weight, and price. To test the range, I set up one Helltech V3 on one side and 50 foot away another Helltech V3 along with the T1000E. I made sure the devices were separated by more than one wavelength to prevent interference. Using the first Helltech, I measured the signal strength. While the difference was minimal, the Helltech V3 had a slight edge, making it the winner in this category. Next was ease of use. The T1000E is ready to go straight out of the box. Just charge it, pair it with your phone, and you're set. In contrast, the Helltech V3 is a DIY device, requiring you to gather parts, assemble it in a case, flash the firmware, and then pair it with your phone. Given its simplicity, the T1000E is better suited for everyday users, earning it the win in this round. When it comes to features, the T1000E stands out with its built-in GPS, temperature sensor, 3-axis accelerometer, buzzer, and water-resistant enclosure. The Helltech V3, while offering unlimited customization, doesn't come with the basics like a case or battery. The Helltech V3 wins this one. In terms of weight, the T1000E is slightly lighter once you fully build out the Helltech V3 to a comparable state. While this difference may not matter to most, it could be significant for hikers who need to minimize every ounce. Lastly, let's consider the price. The T1000E is priced at $39.90, while the Helltech V3 costs $24. However, after adding a case, battery, and other essentials, the total for the Helltech comes to around $50. This round also goes to the T1000E. So the winner is the T1000E from Seed Studio. You might say it's not a fair comparison since these devices cater to different needs. But I'd say it's a classic, is it better to build or to buy? And in this case, Seed Studio has definitely brought a good product that's better to buy to the market than to build yourself. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.